We may have a tropical storm or hurricane landfall along the east coast within the next four to five days. We have the threat for more severe thunderstorms today, including a 2% tornado risk up through portions of the mid-Atlantic and New England. And well below average, cool air is expected to move into the east as we get into next week. It's September 25th, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. Our latest European model run does have potential tropical cyclone Imelda making landfall somewhere in the Carolinas within the next four to five days as a tropical storm or potentially even a hurricane. And our latest American model run also agrees with this scenario. Taking a look at our most updated European ensembles, every single member, I believe except for one, does have potential tropical storm Imelda making landfall in the states. And it also has Humberto strengthening off to the east of Imelda and heading towards the states as well, although most of these members keep it out to sea. Our FNV Google DeepMind model also has almost every single member making landfall in the states, like I said, within the next four to five days. And so does the GenCast model. There's still a question with Tropical Storm Humberto, but like I said, most models do have this system becoming a major hurricane. If you live along the East Coast, there's no need to panic. We technically don't even have Tropical Storm Imelda yet, although we're supposed to within the next 24 to 48 hours. What you need to be doing now is making a plan and preparing, and of course, staying updated if you're in the potential path of this system. We do have the threat for more severe thunderstorms today across portions of the East and Southwest. Our threat in the Southwest is simply hail and wind driven, so we could get some severe thunderstorms capable of producing damaging wind and hail. Although out east, the Storm Prediction Center has given us a 2% tornado risk today. This does include some major cities like DC, Baltimore, Philly, and New York City. The strongest storms do look to initiate as we get into the evening hours, potentially around 5 to 6 p.m. before pushing off to the east. So I would say the window to really pay attention is somewhere between 5 p.m. and 11 p.m. Of course, timing can change. Make sure you have weather alerts on out here. And here comes the cool air next week. Our latest European model does see a nice trough digging into the east, bringing with it well below average air. The timing of this trough sinking into the east looks to be at around next Wednesday to Friday, so we could have a nice chilly weekend next week along the East Coast. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follow or sub. I make posts like this every day, and I stream five days a week to try and answer all of your weather-related questions. I'll see you in the next video.